Howdy y'all, I'm dropping pics all over the place, hold on a sec. There we go, so, howdy y'all, I, I got a, well, I got uh, discussions and stuff and, and, and uh, berating myself a little bit. So, I think I've said before that I would like to try and turn this into a business to be able to sell guitars, um, you know, fix them up and sell them. And I did a bad thing. I let society get to me. I actually, what I did with this guitar here, I went out and looked before I did any work on it to see how much they were selling for. Um, and that actually determined how much work I put into it before I brought it out to try and sell it at a garage sale. I'm kind of happy I didn't sell it at the garage sale. Because it taught me a lesson, I taught myself a lesson, that uh, I shouldn't do that. Um, putting the work on a scale because of a monetary consideration is just dumb. You should always do the best job that you can with whatever you have. And I was doing the, uh, the business thing, the ROI return on investment. And, uh, this is not about that at all. This is totally about, well, it all started with me getting better and I need to do things with my hands and I can't not do things. So, um, it was driving me crazy. Also helped with the neuropathy because that was one of my main goals was I need to play the guitar because my hands were just bad and I needed to do something. Should have done something with my feet too because they're still bad. They're probably different, totally different situations anyway. But um, it wasn't that I'm not in this for the return. I'm, I'm literally in this because I completely enjoy doing this and I completely enjoy taking these things and... Having the, you know, the strings be like this and the, the bridge all messed up and just the pickups just, yeah, uh, one's here, one's there, one here, one here, you know, and just the electronics and whatever, you know, and, and taking them from people not knowing what they're doing with them and almost destroying them and making them beautiful again, you know, um, that's what this is all about. And, uh, uh, this one, this uh, this one, I I did some more work on today because I pulled it out of the gig bag that I put it back into, and um, and truthfully, uh, I'll tell you the the reason that I have more than one out right now is because, well, for one, I can't stand strats. I don't like them just because of I have these big, big, like people say. People look at my hands from this side and say, "You got small hands, man." And then they look at them from this side and they go, "Holy crap, you have huge hands." So it's like you know. Yeah, it's it's all the meat right here, man. That's what kills me and with strats because exactly where the volume control and the uh, switch is because that that is just right where I play and I like the I, I like the, the growl of how of playing further back because up here it seems to uh, what do people call it jazzy like nice and stuff and I like to you know I, I, I grew up I went to high school I graduated in the 80s man come on butt rock is like a way of life so you have to have the growl you know and Oh my God! Growing up, growing up in the seventies, listening to Ted Nugent, you have to have that. So you know, um, and just you know, with the birth of of heavy metal and and just growing up through all of that is, you just seriously want that growl. I do anyway. I want that growl, and, and to me, that and the the blues, that nasty growl. And if you put those two together, that's the sound I'm looking for. Um, this guitar, though, this guitar I pulled out of the gig bag and I was like, I just started playing it. And I was like, wow, I did a super good job on this one. This is nice. And
but uh, and then I pulled that one out and I was like, hey, wait a minute, there's a big difference here. What's wrong with me? So that's my big rant on uh, how society got to me because uh, I was doing things like big business would and that is not the way to go. Um, if you try and put your best effort into it and uh, you know, give it your all, good things should happen. Um, and at some point, businesses start cutting corners to save money. And that, to me, is where the evil starts. And uh, you should always try and give your best. Um, and then there's at some point, it, it goes from you, you're, you want to give your best and the best product to we need to make more money. And that, to me, is where society is failing big time. Anyways, I'll stop my rant now, and uh, hopefully y'all is having a good day. Anyways. Always look up. I'll see you then. Peace.